Rockies fans get at least 162 chances to catch their favorite team in action, and half the time you can watch them in action on the home field. Well, today we're giving you all the details you need to know about the Colorado Rockies home since 1995 Coors Field, starting with how you get there. Denver has a variety of public transportation options to get you to the game. Check out RTD Denver for information on bus and train service. If you're using rideshare, these are the designated pickup and drop off areas for your drivers. Finally, if you want to bring your own vehicle, there are a handful of lots surrounding the stadium. Advanced individual game parking passes are available. Start at $17. Once you're ready to head inside, you can only bring certain bags and containers with you. Coors Field regulations allow soft sided bags, containers, 16 by 16 by 8 or smaller to be inside the ballpark. Your bag is subject to search upon entering the park. And if you want to bring food and drinks inside with you, you can. Just make sure they're in plastic or paper cups and bottles or certain size thermoses are allowed, but you cannot bring alcohol inside. Fun fact, in Denver, dingers fly 9% faster than they do at sea level due to the higher altitude, but also makes it a little harder to breathe if you're not accustomed to it. Speaking of higher altitude, there's a new spot inside Coors Field where you can find rentable party spaces, incredible views, and premium bars. It's all happening on the roof, and the space is open to all ticket holders. And if you're new to Coors Field, Hey, don't be alarmed if you're approached by this guy. A big purple dinosaur, Dinger, is the official Colorado Rockies mascot. He's been the Rockies' biggest fan since he hatched at Mile High Stadium. That was back in April 1994. For even more valuable information on Coors Field ahead of your visit, make sure you check out the CBS Denver article. There you'll find useful links and tips to plan ahead. Katie Johnston for CBSDenver.com.